New England Gardening here today, Sunday, April 22nd. I've got my first tomato seedlings coming up. This is striped German. Uh, I planted these on April 18th, so they're already coming up. Uh, today's it's 48 degrees outside. Uh, it's kind of strange. The past week we had brush fire warnings because we've got way below normal uh, water fall. And uh, between today and tomorrow, we're going to get anywhere from two to four inches of rain. So we're under uh, flash flood warnings. So we go from one extreme to another here in the northeast right now. Now since my tomato seedlings are coming up, I thought I'd talk a little bit about temperature. It seems that Tomato seedlings or seedlings in general, it's uh, best to have a soil temperature of around 75 to 90 degrees uh, for best germination and to get nice uh, strong plants started off. So, you know, definitely wouldn't do that in, wouldn't do that outside with it being 48 degrees. I guess you could keep them near a window or near a radiator uh, but if it's near a window and you have direct sunlight you know then you would have a problem of regulating the temperature where you go from one extreme to another also inside but what I did is I purchased one of those germinating stations and a thermostat to regulate the temperature so there's a probe that goes in the soil and you set the temperature and the probe measures the temperature in the soil and maintains that temperature uh, by warming up the heat mat that you keep underneath the, the tray that you have your seedlings in. So let's go take a look at that heat mat. So here's the germination station that I purchased. Um, let's see, it's by hydrofarm and so you've got the tray with the dome <clears throat> these are just plug size so you'd have to transplant those pretty quickly and that's the mat right there and this would just sit on that the tray here comes with some paperwork it's got a tray so you don't spill anything don't get water on the mat this is a 72 cell tray here and you get the dome then they give you these packets here I wasn't sure what they what they were but uh, here's a card here one's um, mycorrhizal Inoculant, I think, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. And it's beneficial soil fungus. And the other one is uh, Azos, nitrogen fixing bacteria. So I guess that helps with seed germination. Now this setup is actually for starting plants that you're going to use in hydroponics. Um, that's not what I'm going to be using it for. You know, I like the heat, you know, the heat mat. <clears throat> so I'll be using it to germinate my tomato plants in soil. Now I guess you could use the heat mat on its own, but then you really have no way of regulating the temperature. The, the heat mat is going to maintain a temperature from 10 to 20 degrees 
Fahrenheit above ambient temperature. But if it, if it should go higher than that, there's no way to regulate it. So it is recommended that you use the heat mat in conjunction with the thermostat. So here's a thermostat here. And this lets you set the temperature uh, so that it'll turn on and off depending on what information the temperature probe is sending back to this sensor. So you maintain a nice even temperature for seed germination. So this is what it looks like. And here you have the, the temperature probe. So let's, let's set this up. So the mat plugs into here. And then you take the temperature probe and put it in the soil. I don't know if it's best to have it near the edge or in the center. Let's put this in there. I don't know how I'd use this suction cup here. Probably have to keep that wet a little bit. Oh yeah, the suction cup will stick to the bottom of the tray. Now you do get uh, a temperature chart. This here says that the tomatoes I don't know if you can see that they're recommending they're recommending about 80 degrees for seed germination on tomatoes and they give you a bunch of other temperatures for different plants and vegetables here so to set it I guess it says you just hold down the set button Let's see And now it's flashing and you can set it up and down. So it's 80, it's already at 80 degrees. So we're all set. That will try to maintain 80 degrees. Let's see what the soil temperature is now with this InstaRead thermometer here. Get that in there. So that's saying the soil temperature is 70 degrees. So we'll see how long that takes to go up to the 80 degrees now that it's on the heat mat. Well, it's been a couple of hours and I'm surprised at how long it's taken the soil temperature to increase. I mean, I could feel the heat mat it's definitely warming up but it just takes a long time to warm up the cool soil so it's good to have a second source for measuring the temperature because this instant read thermometer is reading uh, 79 degrees so it was you know it has gone up 9 degrees this here is reading 74.6 so you know, which one do I believe here? So I might have to compensate and lower this set temperature um, if I'm going to believe that this is 
79. Now, another option, I don't know why I didn't think of this, I have these oil filled portable heaters, electric heaters, I mean they're expensive to keep on and they're only supposed to be used for a short period of time, they're not supposed to be a constant source of heat, but um, I guess I could just put one of these underneath the table. I like these new folding tables. They used to be made out of the a particle board, which was, you know, extremely heavy. And now they make them out of this lightweight plastic, so they're pretty light. But, you know, I could leave one of these on and just have it underneath. And uh, that could provide heat from underneath, too. But those are just some options. Um, you know, it is it is good to have a good soil temperature or the appropriate soil temperature for starting seeds so you end up with some nice healthy um, young plants and also helps uh, start germination uh, early. So give that some thought when you're germinating your seeds. This is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.